we absolutely need more quantum lensed practitioners in this world. And here's why. Understanding the human body from the most foundational aspects of health is key to getting to the root cause of supporting clients and patients through their healing journey. And unfortunately, these days, our modern environment is so different than what the human body has ever been a part of over the course of the past 100,000 years, right, of, of human engagement with this earth, that what we when we take people through the quantum lens and we view the body and supporting the body through the quantum lens, we are simply bringing patients and clients back to their natural environment or as close to their natural environment as is humanly possible while still living uh, as a part of this modern world. And so when we take the when we take a look at supporting people from that quantum perspective that moves the needle by itself so so far it has to be the foundation upon which then other modalities that you might be an expert at that you can then layer on those additional support modalities but i have found through having uh, advanced training in uh, exercise, nutrition, and massage therapy, uh, in addition to lots of training with supplements, different types of um, gut health protocols, you know, you name it, I've, I've taken courses on it. And I have found that the only way to truly start to support the body is to put the body back into its natural state. That really specifically starts with the light environment. And so as a quantum informed practitioner who feels very, very confident in how to apply these the, the strategies involving things like light, mitochondrial support, hydration, um, getting back into nature in a therapeutic capacity. It's really, really important to set it uh, as a way to set our clients and patients up for success. So I'm thrilled to help support clients and practitioners with this. It is just a blessing I find in my life to be able to use all of the expertise that I've garnered about laying this foundation. What, what is the order in which we want to layer upon light support? How do we start to implement strategies involving mitochondrial health from things like red light therapy to deuterium depletion? What about earthing? What about non-native EMF mitigation? What about even things like leptin, which is a very much an energy control system that's supported by circadian signaling? All of these things play a huge role in getting the body back into its natural state. And then once it's back into its natural state, we can start to apply additional support modalities if needed. For example, I love supporting clients through uh, opening drainage pathways and um, supporting important detoxification pathways if it's needed. I love working with clients on um, movement-based practices, fascial health, connective tissue health. I think all of these things are very, very foundational important to health. But when I used to just do massage therapy or when I used to just work on nutrition, that only moved the needle so far. And now I'm thrilled to be able to offer the quantum lens and feel confident in in engaging my clients into a quantum lifestyle that then moves the needle even further than any other modalities will by themselves. So as a quantum informed practitioner, you really truly lay at an essential foundation that clients can go to and upon which they can not only access since their own, their body's own innate healing wisdom, but then you can layer on additional key support strategies that you have found to further support your clients and patients on their healing journey.